Dear Mrs. Rajavi, dear Professor Javid Rahman, honored guests, and dear friends, and my brothers and sisters in Ashraf City, it is, a, it is an honor for me to speak with you in, in this, at this significant event, and I'm very grateful for this opportunity. I'm Shabnam Madadzadeh. I was, I was a political prisoner in Iran for five years. On April 8, 2011, while I was in Gohardash prison in, in Karaj, I heard that the ghost force had attacked Ashraf City, Mujahideen headquarters in Iraq during Maliki's regime. My sister and my brother, Akbar and Mahdiye, member, members of the Mujahideen Khalq PMI, were, were martyred during this attack. I spent extremely painful times. However, I made a vow with them to continue resisting on the path to freedom. Today, I don't, I don't want to speak about myself. Instead, I want to speak about my dear and, and brave friend, Mariam Akbari Monfared, whom I was in. whom I was in prison with and Mr. Javed Rahman referenced in his, her, in his great report. Mariam Akbari is a brave, resilient, and yet kind and humble woman prisoner. She has spent nearly 15 of, her, of the best years of her life in the regime's medieval prisons without a single day of leave. And this cruel captivity continues to this day. She is a member of the thousands of families seeking justice for the massacre of political prisoners in the 1980s, particularly the mass execution, executions in 1988. Two of Marianne's brothers, Ali Reza and Ghulam Reza, were killed in the regime's prisons in 1981 and 1985, respectively. Another of her brother, brothers, Abdul Reza, who was only 17 years old at the, at the time of his arrest, along with her sister Rogaye, the mother of newborn baby, were hanged in 1988 during the massacre of political prisoners, along with 30,000 other prisoners. Abdul Reza's crime was distributing Mujahid newspapers. Our first met and got to know Maryam after the Iranian people's uprising in 2009 in the, uh, in the general world of Evan prison. From the very first moment, her high spirit and laughter attract everyone to her. I witnessed Maryam unwavering resistance. She was repeatedly tortured, deprived of seeing her three daughters, and denied the right to make phone calls from prison. Yet, she stood, she stood firm. One, once at the beginning of her visit to her daughters, she was informed that it was forbidden for her to visit her family. With admirable steadfast, she hugged her daughters and left visitation hall. Despite all inhuman tortures, in September 2016, she, she took the remarkably courageous step of seeking justice for her brothers and sister who had been executed in the 1980, 1980 and summer of 1988. In a letter from prison regarding this pursuit of justice, she filed a complaint against those, those resp responsible for the 1980s killing. She wrote, as a family member of the prisoners who were executed in that dark era, I am one of the plaintiffs in this case and demand the uncovering of hidden aspects of my sibling's death because I believe that discovering the truth and illuminating those events will prevent such crimes from happening again in the future. Throughout the time I was with her in prison, I witnessed how her, brother, how her martyred brothers and sisters 
inspired her to resist and stand firm. I remember one day, after returning from visitation hall, I told her, Mariam, I've, got ju I've, I've just gotten to know Sara, but her, it's hard for me to say goodbye to her. How you have endured being apart from her for so long? She replied, I always think of my sister, Rogaye, how she was separated from her newborn baby and taken to be executed. I draw inspiration from her and remember all the mothers who have suffered. In her letter seeking justice, she wrote from prison, I have suffered many hardships over the years, but my brothers and sisters who lost their lives are the stars of hope and symbols of love in my life. And I have learned to endure suffering and hardship from them. After her pursuit of justice, the interrogators in an inhuman act exiled Maryam to Semnon prison 240 kilo kilometers away from her family. Last year, after enduring 14 years of torture, Maryam was sentenced to, to an additional three years in prison on two fabricated charges by the Ministry of Intelligence to prevent her release. The cruelty and wickedness toward this family have no end. In an act of complete, complete cruelty and malice aimed at terminating this family and breaking Mariam, in June 2024, one of the Khamenei's plundering organization called the Executed Headquarters of Imams Directive opened a new case against Mariam's family. According in this case, all of Maryam's and her relatives' assets are to be confiscated and handed over this organization. Despite all torture, Maryam is not alone. We are, her, we are her voice and stand by her side. With hope for the trial of, for all criminals and the triumphs of justice. Thank you all.